Ladies, I want you to look around. This place is a fabric extravaganza. And talk about a major cool factor, mood has it. Now, it's very easy to get lost here among all these bolts of fabric. There are thousands of them. It's also very easy to lose your wallet. And by that, I mean it's critically important to have a budget when you're designing because the cost of fabric can add up very quickly. Now, Robin, I want to hear why it is you chose to design a workout outfit. Well, I'm an athlete, and I wanted to make something that's both fashionable and practical. Excellent. We like that. Robin has found the perfect bolt of fabric for the tank top and leggings, but it's sold in a very particular way. The fabric she chose is wide enough, but she needs to do a little math to figure out how much length to get. The price of the fabric is $16 per yard of length, and it's sold in quarter yard units. Robin's fabric budget is $30. Can she afford to buy enough of the fabric to make the tank top and leggings for her workout outfit? Make it work. Out, Kim. I'll have to flex my math muscles on this one, Tim. Okay, Robin, we'll have to use the measurements from your pattern, then convert the measurements from inches to yards, which is the unit that fabric is actually sold in. The total length of your pattern is 48 inches. That is the length of the fabric needed for the outfit. We'll add an extra 12 inches of length to leave room for error, which means you'll need a piece of fabric for the outfit that is 60 inches long. So Robin, at $16 a yard, will it fit within your budget? I really hope so. Well, let's see. First, we'll have to convert inches into yards. A yard is equal to 36 inches. Robin, you need 60 inches of fabric. How many yards is that? To find out, let's do a conversion. We start with what we have, and then we multiply by the conversion rate, a number that's equivalent to one. One yard over 36 inches times 60 inches is equal to 60 36. Simplified, that's 5 thirds, or 1 and 2 thirds yards. But this fabric is only sold by the 1 fourth yard, so we'll have to buy 1 and 3 fourths yards since it's the closest fraction that is both divisible by one-fourth and is greater than one and two-thirds. Since the fabric costs $16 a yard and you're buying one and three-fourths yards, your cost will be 16 times seven-fourths, which equals 112-fourths. That can be simplified to $28. And that means, Robin, you came in just under your budget. Good news. It's not always easy to come in on budget, and you did it. I'm glad I brought enough money. Me too.